Hey guys, it is Sunday, February 4th, and it's like 8.30 at night, and I haven't recorded a dang thing for you all all day today. It's Super Bowl Sunday here in the States. The lighting is weird because it's so dark. Um, I spent the whole, my husband went to a Super Bowl, bar, Bowl party with some college friends. I stayed home. I'm not really into sports. I had to work on the secret project and I wanted to get a big bulk of it done, which I did today. Uh, I also got the vlog for last week edited and loaded already today and a bunch of stuff like that. I spent basically the day at the computer editing video, deleting things that I recorded that I thought, what the heck is that? And I didn't use the word heck. And I thought, okay, that's just not even YouTube worthy. That's just stupid. So, yeah, it's out of here. <laughs> it was just bad, people. Bad, 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 bad. In fact, I need to double check the trash can and make sure. Yeah, let's get rid of that, too. So, um, yeah. So it's all gone. Thank goodness. Um, and that's all. That took all day. I haven't done anything else. So anyway, I'm sitting here at the computer and I am going to finally shut it off. I'm going to turn it off for the day. I'm going to look at any posts that are on here on my iPad out in the other room. So anyway, I hope that you all had a great day and that you have a great week going forward. Um, if you are a sports fan and you watch the Super Bowl, I hope the team won that you wanted to win. So anyway, tomorrow is a day that I can spend filming and creating art with and without the camera. So I look forward to that and yeah, getting laundry done, you know, stuff like that has to be done. All right, that's it for right now. I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hey guys, how are you today? It is Monday morning, February 5th, and you know, today's gotten off to a bit with a bang, and it's not a good bang. <sighs> so anyway, I am headed out to go run some errands. I'm going to take you with me, um, as usual. So I started off this morning by doing chores, you know, laundry and stuff like that. We transplanted some plants around the backyard over the weekend as you probably saw in last week's vlog so I went out this morning to go water them so I can make sure they live and don't die and then while I was trying to do that I got a call from my husband that he was being sent home from work because the doofus decided to try to go to work even though he wasn't feeling well that's what he does he doesn't take time off like he has to be dying to take time off um, not literally, figuratively. Anyway, so, um, but they're like, dude, you need to go home. <laughs> you sound like crap. You, f you look like you feel like crap. Go home. So they sent him home, and while I was finding that out, we found out a friend of ours um, who unfortunately gets some food over to them. I don't want to interfere with their time with their mother but I want to support where I can and if all I can do is sort of sneak in the back door and leave food in the kitchen while they're spending time with her, I can do that. So I'm in communication with them to try to figure out how to get that done this week. So, you know, I got the work done on the secret project yesterday, as I already mentioned uh, yesterday when I was taping and that's all done and submitted. I'm nervously, anxiously waiting to hear back on that. So anyway, I can't say too much more about that without revealing what's going on. I got an unexpected affiliate request from a art supply company to do things here on YouTube with them. And of course I would not do that without telling you all that that's what the video is about. I'm not about hiding things like that. So. I am in communication with them about that. That's pretty exciting, especially because it's a company I like and they have products I like because I wouldn't do this with a company I wasn't sure of. 
So we will see how that goes. That happened this morning. It's been an eventful morning, I'm telling you all. So anyway, we're headed to Michael's. I created a journal page recently. The video is not released yet. It won't be released until the end of the month. And I mixed a custom color for the page and I love it so much that I'm gonna go see if I can find a bottle of like Americana paint in that color or something super similar because I wanna use it again and again and I don't wanna keep mixing it. That's, I, I only wanna do that once or twice and after that, that's just too many times for me. So we're gonna go see if we can find that. I'm gonna pop it in a Dollar Tree really quick and see if there's anything interesting there. And then I'm gonna go get the mail and then go home and check on the husband and maybe make him some chicken soup because or pastina, which is, you know, the Italian mom's version of chicken soup. So, uh, let's see if we can get him better. Pump him full of vitamin C and Dayquil and all of that stuff. Let him get some sleep. That's the biggest thing. He needs to get some sleep. So, anyway, and he has some... Uh, he has some things he was supposed to do this afternoon and this evening, and I may need to run errands for him regarding those to some Masonic stuff, so we'll see. I'll bring you with me if I do. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Fun fact, what kind of music do you all think I listen to while I'm driving? I like almost every kind of music out there known to mankind. There's not too many I can say I don't like. But the more anxious I am, the more calming music I need. When I'm in my studio creating, I like to listen to oldies, and my Pandora mixes oldies, uh, Celtic music, church hymns, some opera, some like nature sounds. It's a mixture of things. And, oh, I can't go there. And when I'm driving, if I'm in a really good mood, which doesn't happen a lot in conjunction with driving, then I'll just put on rock and roll. I like rock and roll very much. Um, that doesn't happen a lot. Most of the time, driving tr stresses me out, and so I'm usually listening to classical music, something soothing and calming. Um, yeah, <laughs> because I really, really, really get stressed out while I'm driving, which is funny because I used to love driving, and I used to drive as part of my job. And <laughs> anymore, I just can't do it. It stresses me out to the max, so. Classical music, Mozart especially. I like Mozart. Chopin's not bad either. Anyway, KDFC, it's the local Bay Area classical music station. Thumbs up to them. Alrighty, I'm all done with that. Have you guys ever left a job for whatever reason voluntarily or not and when that happens you maybe don't really miss the job but you miss the people you used to work with or maybe you miss aspects of the job Ooh, wait. let's turn that down that's the air conditioner maybe you miss aspects of the job and the people you used to work with yeah, so that's me. I used to work for American Greetings. I was a greeting card merchandiser for them. And I was an installation coordinator. And since I'm obsessive compulsive, straightening up things is right up my alley, makes me happy. And I loved the parts of the job I loved. I especially loved some of the people I worked with and it's a long story why I don't work there anymore. We won't get into it right now, but I was just in Dollar Tree and I ran into one of my old coworkers, Linda, who is the sweetest lady on the planet. She's worked for the company for 30 years and she's still doing it. And I was so happy to see her. It was so nice to see her. So anyway, small world. I found my paint colors. I found actually two of them. 
Um, this one's pretty close to the color I wanted. This one's like a shade darker. They're both really pretty. They're both folk art paints. One is blue lullaby and the other one is French blue. So anyway, I'm going to go see if the mail is ready early and then go home and check on the husband and see how he's doing. I'll be back. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's still technically morning. It's 11.10 and I am, I've spent the morning getting on the treadmill. I've got a couple of racks to send out in the My Creative Year group. A rack is a random act of kindness. I um, need to go to the grocery store, get the mail. I also have to make a grocery delivery to a friend um, whose family is going through a hard time. So I'm gonna go do that too. And, um, oh, and I put selected stamps and stencils in my Etsy shop um, on sale for 30% off while supplies last. So if you've been interested in buying one, now's the time to do it, because I don't do this too often. Um, with the release of the new sets for 2018, I need to re reduce the inventory on some of the older stuff. So anyway, it's, Go check it out. I'll put the link to the Etsy store in the description below. Um, I also have some random art and ephemera boxes I need to put together. Um, hopefully I can get that done soon and get that out to you all. So I'm gonna work on that. Right now, I'm gonna go make that food delivery and I'll be back. Hello everybody. It is Wednesday, February 7th hair all over me. Um, it's just before lunchtime. Uh, I'm getting a later start getting some errands done than I thought I would be. I spent the morning doing some writing for the secret project and working on that and um, getting my daily thoughts posted all over the Facebook groups and the quote and I packaged up three new mystery boxes for sale in the Etsy shop and I'm going to, rather than making it in a separate video, I'm going to include the footage like right here somewhere. So <laughs> um, you'll see a probably speed through of a few minutes of the footage. Uh, these boxes include some really old not very well done artwork that you are free to paint over or do whatever you want with. Some folders of ephemera and FYI the folders are made out of um, large sheets of watercolor paper so the folders themselves could be cut up and used for something. Um, some small envelopes of small collage and ephemera bits and miscellaneous pieces. And each box has a Creative Memories bag intended to hold paper punches and I've included some paper punches for my stash so that I cleaned out some stuff. So I'm asking $50 each for the box that includes shipping. Um, they're in my Etsy shop. I'll link the description below if I forget somebody remind me. And uh, yeah, they've got to go. If you all don't want them, then it's going to Goodwill. So they've got to go. Um, what else? I have an inventory reduction sale going on over in Etsy on selected stamps and stencils, mostly older designs from 2016 and 2017. Um, so if you're interested in either getting some of my stamps or stencils, you don't have any yet, or adding to your collection. Now is a really good time because I don't generally put them on sale. To, I think it's only happened once before, so now is a good time to get them. Um, gotta get packing tape <laughs> and a neat toothpaste. We're down to the little small sample size tube. <laughs> the, one you, the one that's in your travel toiletries bag for when you go out of town. So uh, yeah, didn't realize we had no more toothpaste. So I gotta go do that. And I don't wanna go there too late because at like two o'clock it gets crazy. So we're headed over to Target right now. It's a little closer to my house. So we're gonna go just go there. And um, what else? 
house. We have some friends who I said yesterday I made a food delivery to um, that are going through a hard time and I wish them, I don't want to get into specifics on YouTube, but I wish them all my best and all my love and support. And um, one of the family members has a channel here on YouTube. His name is Handy Andy. Uh, super nice guy with a fun workshop in his garage. I will uh, link his channel in the description below. He needs subscribers. And uh, yeah, he's got some fun videos over there. And uh, anyway, what else? I can't think of anything else at the moment. I want to do a journal page and I need to do my daily drawings from yesterday and today because I was tired last night. I didn't get them done last night. So I'm going to do them today while I'm on the couch catching up on my soap opera. Yes, I watch a soap opera at General Hospital. Been watching it since junior high school. <laughs> since the days it was in black and white. Or at least our TV was black and white. When Jesse was still a nurse. If anybody out there is an old General Hospital fan, you'll know what I mean. Um, yeah, anyway. My husband's been home sick for two days, so um, he's back at work today, feeling better. No, he didn't have the flu. He's had the really, really bad um, cold and sinus infection that's also been going around besides the flu. So, let's change lanes. So anyway, he's back at work today. He's all better and I'm taking vitamin C like a crazy woman trying to not get sick. So, I think that's it for the moment. We're gonna go walk around Target and see what fun stuff we can find to buy that we don't really need. Hopefully we don't do too much of that. All right, I'll be back. later with friends and I'll see if I can get some footage. We're going to Harry's Hofbrau for those who live in the Bay Area. Pretty good place. And I've been playing with my Dina Wakely journal again and I'll show you. Let me flip the camera around. So I've been working on the burlap page and putting a quote here and some chunky stuff and staples and yeah I like the way it turned out. So anyway, now it's got to dry before I can do other stuff. And I'm working on a few projects over here for videos. I'm waiting on stuff to dry. But anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. afternoon. It is Saturday afternoon. It's about 2.15 ish and I haven't really done a lot this morning. <laughs> Laundry and I finished a few journal pages that I sh um, started last night and shared um, kind of the halfway point last night on social media. I'll insert pictures like right here somewhere of the finished pages. I'm working on episode two of a new YouTube video series. I was ex not only experimenting with a couple of techniques, but that I'll share on the episode two 
but I was using elements in some of the journal page, pages. So there's a hint for you all, so look carefully. Um, I'm headed out right now to go get the mail. I've had the car today. My husband is out doing um, a Freemason thing. And um, he took his car so I could have the car today, but I didn't really feel like going anywhere. There's a couple places I'd like to go, but I don't, like driving that much so um, they're kind of far away so I think i um, just gonna let it go for the moment till I'm in the mood but I am headed out to go get the mail and it is warm and toasty outside so I don't really want to walk although I probably should for my health it's probably healthy to get the steps in I just don't feel like it Hey everybody, it is Saturday evening, it's like 10.15, and I spent the day uh, working on finishing some journal pages and catching up on my daily drawing and stuff like that, doing a little cleaning and sorting of um, images um, in the space next to my table where I have like stuff that I like to grab easy and then when if there's nothing in there I want to use when I'm working on a page then I go into my bins of things and wait try not to be easy there we go my bank of drawers um, but I do have sorry I know I'm really making you dizzy I do have a little Ikea cart <laughs> back back there it is so in the top of the Ikea card are the journals I'm currently working on, and then there's a bin of things that I pull from. At some point it gets really messy though, and so, oh, there's my hallway. At some point it gets really messy though, and I have to clean it and sort it and like reorganize it like periodically, or it just gets overwhelming, and I, yeah. So I finished my some journal pages, and then I cleaned that out today. I had some stamps for... Uh, inventory come in from the manufacturer only they gave me the wrong packaging the stamps well were... that was an abrupt ending wasn't it there was something wrong with the footage or I accidentally turned the camera off uh, I don't know but what I was saying was my stamp manufacturer sent me the wrong packaging on a shipment of inventories um, for the stamp new stamp designs and um, they didn't want the old packaging back um, we got the issue corrected, the stamp sets are fine, but I have all this old packaging. So I spent some of, I'm trying to grab the camera because I'm holding it without covering up. Sorry, grab the phone without covering up the camera. All right, but they, so they, I have all this old packaging, which is on cardstock like this with a kind of glossy back. It's what you usually stick the cling mount stamps to. So I took a couple of sheets of it last night and I cut it up to use for embellishments and other projects. I've got a bunch of it left over. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with it. I might put it in Happy Mail, um, send it to the design team. I don't know. Um, but I took some of it and cut it up. So I spent some time last night fussy cutting after I, um, uh, before and after I cleaned out my um, embellishments there that are by my desk, by behind my head. There we go. So yeah, I got all that done last night. I didn't get a lot, a lot else done, to be honest. Um, and today I've spent most of the day so far editing videotape. We are babysitting the puppy, but she's out in the other room with Grandpa. So anyway, um, that's it for right now. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. And if I forget to put any relevant links in the description, let me know. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Hey.